Dear students, this module deals with the last part of the safety rules in the laboratory. While working in the laboratory, you are going to prepare different types of solutions or dilutions. Jinko aap different times se mukhtalif aukat mein use karenge apne research work ke liye, apne experiments ke liye. All these solutions needs to have proper labels and name tags. The label should contain the name of the researcher, the class, date and the experiment and also the emergency contact number. These labels are mandatory and these are helpful to decide about proper disposal of the chemicals. Not all the chemicals can be disposed of in the laboratory sink. Some chemicals need proper processing before they can be disposed of. In the lab, you also interact or you also use the Bunsen uh, burners. These Bunsen burners are the source of flame and you need to be careful while working with the Bunsen burner. You need to avoid yourself from injuries and when these burn burners are not in use, just switch them off. Turn them off. While reaching to any object, be careful, don't put your hand in the flame. While you are working or you have completed your work, the fate of contaminated material, the fate of uh, contaminated glassware, plasticware needs to be done. Or needs to be decided. The contaminated material should be properly disinfected before disposal or reuse. All materials should be autoclaved if they are autoclavable and pipettes should be placed in disinfectant solutions so as to disinfect them. Don't use any kind of infected material, infected liquid, infected pipette or glassware for your new experiments because it will ruin your experiments and your desired results or the actual results will not be available. Once you complete your research work, your experiment in the lab, observe good hygiene. It is highly recommended that you should develop a habit of washing hands before you leave the laboratory. Because while working, you have no idea that what kind of microorganisms, what kind of chemicals you were working with. So prior to leave the lab, need to wash your hands properly. In the event of any accident, don't avoid the situation. Try to intimate or try to inform the laboratory supervisor, laboratory instructor, so that proper management of the accident can be done. Avoid working alone in the lab on holidays or weekends because if you are working alone in the lab on holidays or on weekends and in case of any accident, nobody will be there to help you and that is not good for your safety. Instructors are responsible to train the students or to make the students aware about these safety issues. Time should be spent with the students in the laboratory to show them the safety equipment, to practice them with the safety equipment like eye washing, wash stands, eye wash stands, showers, fire extinguishers, fire exits or hazardous waste disposal sites. All these things should be given proper time so that students should know in case of emergency how to handle and where to go and where how to escape the uh, building.